showing what you should expect if you're able to just afford 17 ad credits so this is my ad manager right here um a while back i spent seven ad credits on a game in seven ad credits we we're able to get 64,000 we use 0 0.10 ad credits and all this other stuff so this is what we've got with seven ad credits we've got 446 total plays from seven ad credits in one day so i have this game so basically what it is is that it's a 2048 game where the goal is to get 2048 or in this round is 16384 so when you merge blocks you merge them together so it's just a simple 2048 game but you're playing against the blue team or the red team so it's somehow competitive so you have to merge it within a given, within a given time first to that point wins and if the time runs out the team with the highest point wins so this is the game that i'm going to sponsor today so i'll walk you through the whole sponsoring process so if you go back to our creator hub this is where um the games are at we can click the ads ad manager down here so what the dad does is open takes us to the ads manager which we were at before just in case you didn't know how to get it from roblox you could click create right here and it will bring you over to the to the creator hub where you click the ads manager here so right now if you don't have ad credits you can simply there will be an option up here around here to choose a payment method to buy ad credits so i think um 30 um 10 ad credits i think you can buy for like around 30 dollars or more but it's pretty expensive so now we'll create our ad oh we'll click create <coughs> so my ad credit balance is 17 so there's a lifetime budget. We know lifetime budget is 20 ad credits. Well, there's a daily budget. A daily budget means I can spend ad credits each day. Or let me see if I budget. So ad lifetime budget means that you spend it all at once. All at once, like that. And then the minimum is 20. While daily budget means that you spend it over a period and the minimum is five. So what I'm going to have as a minimum daily budget is going to be five ad credits. Five ad credits. So now we choose how long we want our ad to run for. So our starting date should obviously be the current time. So today, by this time, and our end date should be where we want to end. So I want this ad to end on Monday. So this is today is Saturday. Well, today is sorry. Yeah, today is Saturday. I want this to end on Monday. So I'll come over here and click Monday, the second of December. So we have a minimum of two calendar dates that to be required. So Roblox uses calendar dates. So you know it's twenty four hour days. They use calendar dates for that sponsorship. So our campaign name. So I'm just call it forty eight blasters campaign. Well, let me read what was written. Three calendar dates are selected. Your budget will be applied across three selected dates. So, what we want. In some games or some obby games, we see some inexperienced ad portals. Now, if you're to enter that portal, it takes you to another game. What we want is a sponsored experience, which are the games that we usually see in the sponsored tab if we have actually taken notes. But 
and our audience this is how we select who our ads ads will apply to so we click all regions i'll leave mine as all genders but all genders all ages devices i'll put all for except for console so the audience genre can't be targeted with advertising so this is what we leave it at and now the bid so if you are trying to bid a higher price like let's say one your game will come on top like the games i usually see in the front of the sponsor tabs usually have high bids on them so that i can show but it drains your ad credits fast so if you have one with 0 0.5 it drains your ad credits less like if you have small ad credits for me i'll just use 0 0.3 and of course ad set name that's what's going to be i don't really edit that much so what we have here is the genre and everything so this is what we edit so this is an estimated monthly target audience size but we can't really depend on this because it always varies so it's all just basically random so this is basically how many ad credits you're giving out per player or for each player so we go next so the destination experience Twenty forty eight blasters. Twenty forty eight, but competitive. Is that the spelling? All right, we go next. So this is just showing us what our ad is going to be like. How much our total daily budget is all that ad set so all all mobile tablet desktop sponsored experiences all genre max speed all all the stuff so and we can edit them so i'll go over here and submit so this is the final because after we have started following the ad credits you can't modify it or edit it so before submit you have to be sure so we're going to hit submit so right now our campaign has been created so we can click manage campaigns to see our campaigns that were created in the past so right now this is what we show if you have no ad credits left and this right now is showing we'll show the stats per day for my credit so i'll get back once the campaign runs out relationship is out i let it run for three days and i said i'll come after a week to see whether i got more plays after the initial spending of ad credits so in total i spent 15 ad credits over a period of three days so this shows how inconsistent ads are and it mostly depends on your game your thumbnail and your icon so for 15 ad credits i got 224,000 impressions so i think we should expect an equal amount of impressions depending on the cost well, so for seven ad credits in one day it was 64,246 also the day that it got sponsored also um It's also important because if it's sponsored on a weekend, I think you should expect more plays. So my cost per thousand impressions was 0 0.06 ad credits. From that 224,000 um, impressions or views, I got 1,229 clicks. And for just 60,000 impressions, I got 1,072 clicks. Well, let's not forget this was in the prime of line games um in 
our cost th click through rate we got a 0.54 percent this was is 1.66 percent our cost per click was 0 0.01 ad credits with 570 plays and a play rate of 0 0.25 so that was basically the results and i let a week pass it was pretty underwhelming spending or wasting robux on ads so i let a week pass and i was able to rack up 1155 visits on the game so 520 something came from the ads then after that i think the algorithm pushed it a while to get up to a thousand visits but when i came back online because i've been offline for like a week because i've been very very busy and i just wanted to surprise myself by not looking at the game which was a big mistake because as i came back i joined the game i realized that there were multiple bugs when it comes to multiplayer or when there's more than one person inside the game which i don't know how i could make that rookie mistake but i fixed it i hope it won't cause so much damage to the game so it's just a simple 2048 game this is my thumbnail the icon is literally just these three squares or these four squares up front so yeah that's what i think you should expect for if you're to spend that amount on ads credits